everyone. Today we're going to make a, a really uh, basic uh, Slack bot. Um, it's going to be very simple. Uh, all it's going to do is uh, you can write a slash command and then it will um, tell a joke. So we'll write slash joke and it tells a joke. Um, this is we're going to use uh, the Slack API, uh, Python, and AWS Lambda. I'm going to try and keep this as simple as possible. So uh, let's get into it. This was a um, bot I made earlier, but we're going to start from scratch. So if you uh, want to follow along. So first, just go to Slack API, um, sign up, do whatever you need to do. And then once you're in here, you can click create a new um, app. Um, and just uh, click uh, from scratch, uh, select a workplace. So if you're using your company chat, just select that and uh, give it a name. So I'm gonna call this um, uh, just tutorial, tutorial bot, tutorial uh, jokes. All right, so very simple. Create app. All right, so you're gonna wanna go to um, OAuth and permission once you've uh, created Click create and you'll scroll down to uh, this section OAuth, um, add an OAuth scope and you'll click add an OAuth scope and you'll have like this drop down. And here we're going to need to give it all of our, um, all of the permissions we want for it. So, um, so have a look through these. Uh, we're going to need, I believe we'll need this one. Um, I'm just going to add a couple more. So I'll just give it a bunch uh, chat right, group right, calls right. Um, Oh, and uh, commands, I believe we'll need that one. So I think these are all the ones we need. Um, you can always remove these or add more. Um, and then after you finish uh, selecting the scope, uh, just make sure to click install to work space. Um, click allow. So looks like we are we are good. Uh, the next step, you're going to need to make an AWS account. Once you finish making your AWS account, it's free. Uh, you just need to add a, a card. Uh, go to Lambda. And I already have a couple of Lambdas, but you just need to find uh, this section with functions. If you don't have any, it's fine. And you just click uh, create function. So it's uh, Lambda is just like a serverless uh, solution for this. The other option would be like for us to host a server and have it uh, listening. So I'm, I'm just trying to keep this as simple as possible for now. So for runtime, just pick uh, Python 3.9 and give it a name so i'll just call mine uh we'll call it uh tutorial joke uh, bot all right um and we'll just leave all of this uh how it is and then you can click uh create function so give that a minute Our um, we have the we have this like start of our lambda that Amazon uh, gives us when we you know create a new lambda. Uh, so we'll have to modify this to work with our uh, our bot. 
Okay. So let's just get into the code portion. Luckily, um, luckily we're not going to have to really worry about like dependencies and stuff. There's a bunch of, um, sort of like built in, uh, things we can use with, uh, with Lambda lambdas. So we should be able to import all of these, including random. And, uh, this is everything we're going to need for this bot. Um, all right, next I'm going to make a jokes variable. So we'll set uh, jokes equal to, and, um, let's write a few jokes. Like why was the math book sad question mark. It had too many problems. Let's see what else can we put? Uh, all right, here we go. Here's a couple more. Uh, my uncle named his dog Timex and Rolex. They're his watchdogs. Okay. Um, all right, just make sure. And let's get two more jokes in here. How do you open a banana with a mon key? Okay. Um, and we'll do this one too. I was going to tell to tell a time traveling joke, but you guys didn't like it. Okay. Uh, all right. So we have our jokes in here. And uh, one thing you got to do is... Um, you can click this test uh, section and just um, let me test tutorial. Just write anything here for event name and uh, click save for now. And we can click uh, deploy and we'll just test it. Um, all right, so we got an error, no module named URL. Uh, lib. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, URL, I think this should fix it. Let's try it now. Yeah, okay, so if it says status code 200, that means you're good so far. Uh, that means no errors. So let's see what we got to do next. Um, all right, so now we got to do our random variable. So do jokes equals uh, random dot choice um, and we're sorry not joke we're making a new variable so we'll call this variable joke and what this variable will do is it's just going to get a random um, joke from our list so we have th three jokes in our list right now um, okay so next we need our message. So this is the message that will get outputted to, to Slack. So here you'd write uh, text, and then this would be like the body of your, um, the, the message. So we could say something like, hello world, how are you here? I am good. All right. All right, we have a few more things to write. So we'll have, uh, we'll make this variable header HDR. Um, okay. Content type. All right, so this is the important part. We're going to use a uh, request. We're going to make a new variable called request. And inside of this 
variable, we are going to um, do this request dot request. And now we're going to use our OS um, and Phi and Phi run. So like that. And inside of here, we are going to make a new um we're going to make a new um a new variable. We'll have to go back to Slack for this. I'll show you exactly what I mean. So just write um I'm gonna write my webhook here. Um so this isn't we'll have to go back to Slack for this to work. All right, so we'll just put json.dumps and now in here is that's where our message will go. And then you have to write in code uh, UTF eight. HDR. All right, so to save like your changes, we'll hit deploy. Um, if we test this, we should probably will get an error, yes. Um, so we don't really have this uh, my webhook. So let's make that. Um, you technically, you could put like your um, webhook directly here, but it's not really good practice. So I, recommend just following along here. So go to configuration and then go to environment variables, then uh, click edit, then click add environment variable. And the key is going to be my web hook. And now the value, we're gonna have to make that. To make that, you gotta go back to your Slack API and um, make sure you're in your app. Okay, so we are tutorial jokes and go to incoming uh, webhooks, and then turn this on. All right, now scroll down and add, click add new webhook to workspace. Um, so wait for that. Uh, pick a channel you wanna add it to. So I'm going to add it. I made a channel for this called uh, testing. So you can go to select, you can either add it to your existing channels or if you wanna just make a make a channel for, for your bot, uh, like I did, just go in Slack and do that. Um, anyway, just click allow and this will allow it to have access to that channel and you will get this uh, URL here. So just copy that URL, all right, and uh, go back to, Go back to Lambda and just paste it. No, we paste, we didn't copy it. We pasted the joke. So don't paste the joke here. Um, like, get it that time. Yes. All right. So we got it. Um, and then you just click save. If we go back and go here, make sure you deployed it. That's just like to save it. And let's test it and see what happens. Okay, so we got status code 200, no error, but let's check our Slack channel. Um, so we got an output from it twice. Hello, how are you? I am good. Hello, how are you? I am good. Right. So let's see what's going on. So here in this body, we have hello, from Lambda. Um, we actually don't need that. So we'll get rid of that. And then for the text here in the message, we have, um, hello, how are you? I'm good. So let's test this again to see what happens. All right, good. So now it's just outputting one time. So that's good. Um, but now let's uh, 
let's adjust this so we don't have any more hello world, but let's instead put our jokes here. So we earlier were working on that. That's why we made this jokes list and this um, random choice. And let's test it now and see what happens. Oh, it still says that. That's because you got to click deploy. You see change is not deployed. So click deploy, go back here, click test. And it looks like we are getting some sort of error. It, oh, okay. I think I see the issue. We put jokes, not joke. Let's try it now. Let's click test. And it looks like no error this time. And there we go. Why was the math book sad? It had too many problems. Let's click it again and see if... Um, so it said, I was going to tell time traveling jokes, but you guys didn't like it. Click it again. Um, how do you open a banana with the monkey? So it's randomly picking one joke from this list. So that's perfect. Um, but now what I want to do is I want to have this so it will execute every time someone puts a slash command here in Slack. So similar to how the other bot I've already made, um, I want like you to write a command here and it will tell you a joke. So like a slash joke command. So to do that, uh, we got to do a couple of things. First, uh, we need a function URL. So let's get, so you'll need to go to um, configuration function URL, create function URL. Um, so this isn't secure, but we're just going to click um, this URL will be public unless you implement your own authentication. So we're just going to make a public URL um, and then just click uh, save. All right. And now we have this URL. And if you want to test it, just go into a browser and uh, copy your copy your uh, URL. So copy your URL, go into a browser, paste it. And uh, let me just uh, close this or make a line here so we can see. Um, and then press enter. And when someone goes to this URL, let's go back to Slack. You can see it told us a bunch of jokes here, um, three jokes. So don't worry that the fact that it repeated, we'll fix that in just a second. But um, now let's make it so it's a command. Uh, click create a new command. And I'll give your command a name like um, tell, tell joke. That's our that's our name. Now here, we're going to paste our URL that we got, that, that URL we just uh, created. You can write a quick description, tells a joke. Um, and that's it. Let's just hit save. So we'll try it, tell joke. Just press enter and look at that, it's working. Um, so obviously this is a pretty uh, basic use of this, um, this API and uh, Lambda, but you can definitely expand on this. Um, you can add dependencies to this. Um, there's options, you can add triggers to schedule this, to run, um, like say once a day, maybe you have some sort of report that you want to send every day. Um, so there's a lot more that you can do with this. And uh, additionally, like if you wanted it to actually interact with people and respond to people, like say somebody says hi and then it replies, how are you or whatever, um, we can also do that, but that would be a more complex tutorial. I'm going to stop here for, for now. I hope this was helpful.